There are times when effectively getting a song into ProPresenter requires that you physically type in the lyrics. Let me show you how to do that and structure the typing so that it flows best into your reflow editor and therefore into ProPresenter version 6. I'm on a Windows 10 system and I simply have Notepad open. The first line you want if you type a song in is the song title. I'm going to use a shelter in the time of storm. And then hit carriage return twice and then we go to verse 1. Another carriage return and we type it in. I will pause the video. And now I've finished typing in the first verse. So at the end of the line I hit a carriage return. Another carriage return. I type verse 2. Carriage return and then we continue. Uh, we'll pick it up after I've typed that in. Now at the end of the second verse, I will go ahead and hit the enter key twice and I will put in the chorus. Enter and then we'll start entering the chorus and return to the video. We won't continue with the whole song, but you get the idea. All you need to do when you're done is click on the file menu and then one of the options will be save or you can use control S and save the program wherever you want it. It will, you need to give it a name, it will save it as a .txt file. I'll, I'll call this uh, sh shelter song. And we will save it. And we're done. Now I'll show you how to import that into ProPresenter 6. The second step is to import the song in ProPresenter 6. The process is pretty straightforward. What you need to do is go to the very top menu system. Right next to ProPresenter, click on the word File. The submenu will say import, it's slightly truncated on the screen, but then you move to the menu below it called import file. Then you navigate in your file system to find the file that you just created, mine I called shelter song, and on my system I see a preview of the contents of the file on the right. Now I'll simply click the word open at the button at the bottom. Now what will give me the opportunity to choose number of delimiters per slide, the size, the category, the template. I can put it in the library or a selected playlist or a new playlist. I, I'll put it directly into my library and I'll just click the import button in the lower right of the pop-up screen. Boom! That didn't take long at all. And you'll notice that I have the title as the first slide. I have verse 1. It, it marked that and color-coded it also for verse 2 and for my chorus. If I want to edit the, the background information, I click on the little I information button and I can put in the title, I can put the artist in, author, publisher, CCLI number, all that information I can type in here for future reference use. But the song it now is in my library and it came in from a pretty uh, easy import through ProPresenter 6. So when you have to type in the song manually, or if you're creating one, it's a very simple way to create it and then import it to save you as much time as possible. Thank you so much. We trust you found this exercise about creating a song with a text file and importing it into ProPresenter 6 to be helpful for you. If you have, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.